I was always interested in this quirky shape. It was an unusual car. The feeling came, well, it's not really a proper Porsche. But in fact, as time went by, and as we'll see, it could indeed be a proper Porsche, and it's now much sought after. The story goes back that it was a, a mishmash of ideas. Not a people's Porsche, but a, an entry-level Porsche. At that time, it didn't take off, other than for the racing guys, because the racing guys did buy it. And that's what this book's about. You'll see a lot of people will report that it is. It's a forgotten gem. Some people say 914, some people say 914, and the people that got them call themselves 14ers. Porsche, the racing 914s. This is a book about racing cars. We discover that this is, in fact, the first time that we're able to see the raison d'etre of the mid-engine design, the factory involvement, the full description about each of the 12 works cars. Race records with details of over 600 races in Europe involving the 914s, over 250 in the USA, and 150 rallies in Europe. So far, the untold story of what is really uh, an almost forgotten model from Porsche. The idea of a mid-engine racing car was always in the mind of Porsche. In the 1960s, it seemed to be the way to go. Why not? We're Porsche. We could build a mid-engine car. It has the perfect polar moment of inertia. How about that?